remember I'm in the back seat with Alan Hawke. Yes, to land this Mr. Fish. Walter Gretzky. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still standing beside you. Hey, wow. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Just go ahead and pinch me. Go on now. They're craft I'm Stephanie Balmont. Welcome to part two of our Republic of Doyle season six special. Over the course of the next half hour, we'll take you back to the St. John set for some more one-on-ones with the stars. And we'll give you more inside scoop on casting from the series creator himself. We'll flash back to the fun we've had over the years. Georgina, I was in that case. you were crazy. Oh, thanks, waiter. Hey. No Best test luck waiter in the team. There you go, ma'am. Anything else? <laughs> Plus, we'll go over guest stars, discuss directing, and witness the final battle between Bernard and O'Brien as they go head-to-head -head and Doyle's up. All that and so much more, and we'll be giving you the remaining clues in our TV Free Stuff prize pack giveaway. Up for grabs, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth seasons of Republic of Doyle on DVD. That's right, all five seasons of Jake and the Gang could be yours, but you need to pay close attention. Throughout the course of this episode and the one previous, you'll see characters pop up from the bottom of your screen. Each one will bring with them a letter, and you'll need to write down all those letters and unscramble them to solve our TV Free Stuff prize pack answer and win all five seasons of Republic of Doyle on DVD. We'll give you more details on how to enter towards the end of the show Show. For now, just keep your eyes peeled for the pop-ups. We'll once again be helming this show from Halifax, where Alan Hawke is in town delighting Doyle fans with a little Q&A, a whole lot of picture posing, and a tremendous amount of genuine appreciation. It sure would be easy for the executive producer, head writer, showrunner, and star to say they're too busy for fan events, but since the very beginning, Mr. Hawke and his cast have made it their mission to connect with the ever-loyal and always-growing audience. To be sure, the show is a hit. And how they scored it, well, it's pretty simple, as Perry Chafe explained to us at last year's Season 5 premiere. It's kind of been a winning formula for us. It's kind of like great setting, cool hero, a super cool car, and, yeah. a, and a guest star. It's a formula that's been like around since, you know, the 70s and 80s. Right. So uh, we kind of, uh, re kind of reinvented it here, and it seems to be working. Oh, it's working. Republic of Doyle is now enjoyed by millions of people in nearly 100 countries around the world. And while Mr. Chafe explains the formula, it's Mr. McGinley who reminds us of the magic. Um, there's a very fine balance between, you know, you can have something quite poignant. Yes. And a split second later, uh, Des is falling over something, you know. <laughs> or a car gets blown up or something yeah, like right. that. And that is the that is the territory we inhabit in this show. Right. And it's I think the the writers have got that spot on. Right. You know. Audiences kinda are drawn to it too. Right. You know? And I think of your character. I mean you've had so much <clears throat> happy. You've gotten married, you've had some life threatening illnesses, there's been you've been shot at and yeah. there's been love. I mean you've got it all going on. Well I, I, yeah, what's left? I mean <laughs> Mal has a meltdown and <laughs> goes to the Avalon Mall and takes out a couple of hundred people with an automatic machine gun or something. I don't now that know. is not how it's going to end. It might. It maybe it on. is. You know, who knows? <laughs> well, now that would be shocking, because if there's one thing that's rock steady in the Republic, it's Malachy Doyle. And as we learned in our Casting Confidential, the kinship between Alan Hocko and Sean McGinley was rock solid from the get-go. I just could tell he was a Newfoundlander. I just could feel it. But he's from Ireland. Yeah, his Irishness aside even, it just felt like he could be my dad. Is that true? And he's a lot, a lot younger than he looks. So the energy that he has as a young man who, because of his white hair, makes him look like an older guy, was perfect. Yeah. And, and he's a sweeter. What chemistry you guys have. He's such a generous, uh, awesome actor and great man. I'm lucky to have you. It's been a hell of a ride. <laughs> Cheers to that. It's hard to imagine the end of Doyle and Doyle. Six years of solving crimes has truly gone by in a blink. It, it's all gone so fast, really. Yeah. Uh, the old cliche, you know, if your time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. You get to clip your son around the ear every second week. It's, you know, and you get paid to do it as well. It's fantastic. <laughs> It's taking everything out of me, not to flatten you right now. 
But um, yeah, it's it's hard. It's kind of hard to believe that we're it's all coming to an end. But all good things have to. Oh, that's so true. So we better savor the season six episodes still to air. Over the years, we could always count on Mark O'Brien for a great laugh. So we caught up to him on the set this summer to put a positive spin on the series wrap. It's it's great though because every time I looked at it like a sad thing, I was like, oh my god, it's ending. It's I'm really proud. Like it's yeah. like I have like new family. I I consider everyone here family now. Right. Like I actually do. And I literally have a wife I met I on the show, so the say. actual family. And just like... Would you have met... Let's ask a philosophical question. Okay. About your love to young Georgina Ryan. Oh, I thought you meant about something else. No, like, no. About that... Because like, would you have met? Like, I, mean, I am, therefore... Oh, oh about you know Georgina. What I'm saying? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. We always wondered if we crossed paths in yes. Toronto before. But um, I feel like probably not, because she probably would have noticed me, and I wouldn't have noticed her. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I love you so much. You're the best wife ever. Plus, she's drop dead, so yeah. there's that, right? I, I think probably you would have noticed. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot cool. It was a lot easier for me that she came on the show yeah. that I was on. You seemed so cool. So I looked eighty times cooler <laughs> than I already am. So I was off the and charts. And you had a steady job at the time. And I said, right? she's like, oh my god, this guy makes like fifty bucks a week or right. more. Well, after our love story interview with the newly engaged Georgina Riley and Mark O'Brien in The Real Duke, and our pre-wedding interview with a couple at the Duke set, we can guarantee it was more than just the gig that got Mark the girl. Just as well, really, as we learned in our casting confidential, turns out Dez's part in The Republic was a bit of a gamble going off. I worked with Mark before, I knew he was a superstar, but nobody really knew who he was yet. So we put it in him in the pilot, kind of not telling the network that we wanted it to be a regular character. It was just going to be a one-off. He that, was a hooligan to start. That's right. He was a spray paint kid. And, they, yeah. and I knew when they saw him on camera, they would be like, when we shot the original pilot, they would say, we love him. Right. And, my, and that's what happened. And my thought was, I said to them, yeah, well, I was thinking about making him a regular character, and they bought into it. Wow. Yeah. I wrote it for Mark. Destiny takes a hand. Uh, and Des and Tinny. And Des and Tinny. Destiny. Destiny. Whoa. We've loved every minute of watching Dez over the years. He's gone from spray painting Vandal to Van Manning P.I. Sort of. And Mark O'Brien has gone from tentative guest star to series star with one more title added this year, director. Now that 602, No Rest for the Convicted has aired, we had to know what it was like for Mark to helm an episode of the hit show. Relax, little boy. She'll probably burn herself out. It was wild, but you know what? It was like I was really, um, really supported well by the producers and yeah. stuff. And like the fact that they gave me that opportunity was awesome. I mean, I was nagging did them you, a lot. You, so maybe they were just like, they were just like, shut up, down, take right? the freaking episode and get out of here. But uh, no, they were awesome. And it How was, did it work though? Now I want to know this because you're on the set all the time. Everybody knows you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Uh, and so, but did you say, oh, I'm reading this script, I want to direct it? Or did they say, okay, Mark, we have a, an episode we're thinking maybe you'll direct? Like, what's the process? Well, there's that? a number of things that they go through in determining directors for the season okay. um, that I know some of and some I don't. So it was kind of their decision. Okay. And it's funny because I knew Sean Doyle was coming back. because yes. he had we'd Good been friends. Yeah. We'd right? been he sleeps at the end of your sofa? He sleeps at the foot of my bed. Foot of your bed. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, sometimes I throw him on the sofa if he's been good. God, no. um, and I give him snacks. He has to eat out of my hands, though. Anyway, uh, so I knew he was doing an episode. Award-winning actor, Sean Doyle, he, by the way. Yeah, but that's how he wins his awards. I humble him down <laughs> and beat him down emotionally and mentally. But anyway... Uh, yeah, I knew he was doing an episode, and then I got a I got a call, and they were like, "So you're going to do episode two? And I was like, "Does it happen to be the Sean Doyle episode?" They were like, "Yes." And I was like, "Excellent." Ow! Ah, yes, boy. That's for handcuffing me to a burning van. You're the one who made it burn. Where the hell have you been? Yeah, where the hell have you been? Sorry, he's a bad influence to the van, for example. None of your business. No, it is my business because I own you. You're my property. He tweeted out afterwards because I said, so how was it? And he, he even said on Twitter, I can't even joke. He was brilliant. Oh, wow. That's yeah. nice. He's, he's, I think he's the best actor. You, I, I don't know how you could be a better actor than him. Wow. I honestly really mean that because, I mean, you look at Oscar winners and stuff like that. They're given amazing roles. If you put Sean Doyle in one of those roles, I think he'd win an Oscar too. Yeah. Like, I think he's incredible. And he's good looking. Well, let's not go nuts. Okay? Let's not go nuts. I put him through processing every day too. I do his makeup. 
and then he eats out of my hand, and then I send him out. Still ahead on CNBC, we'll talk about the impact working on Republica Doyle can have on a career and the effect the lovely location has had on the show's guest stars. Plus more with Kristen Pellerin and Alan Hocko, and when we return, Martha and Mark go head to head in Doyle's Up. We'll be right back. Welcome to what I dare say will turn ugly at some point. It's our competition known as Doyle's Up, and here's how it's gonna shake down. One at a time, our competitors will sit opposite me and bring a series of 20 cards to their forehead. Each card contains the name of a Republica Doyle character. I'll provide each of them with up to three clues per character, more if they need help, but I will not provide the actor's name who portrayed the character, nor will the actor's name be accepted as correct. The player with the most correct answers in the shortest amount of time will win our Doyle's Up competition and be crowned the Republic of Doyle Trivia Champ Supreme. We have cards. We have characters. You have a little bit of time and you need to identify them. Is everybody clear? Yeah, and I think the winner is clearly the better person overall, whoever that may be. <laughs> Moving into this, how do you feel, Martha Bernard? I have a feeling that the loser is also a good person. And we did not shoot this after we played. <laughs> I don't believe in equality amongst competitors in this game. It's go time. I'm jet lagged. I'm not. <laughs> Mark has been sequestered for this round as Martha won the coin toss. She'll go first and the clock will begin with my first clue. She's a police officer. Leslie Bennett. She always caused trouble for Jake. P uh, uh, Monica. Yes. He's bald. Hood. Yes. Leslie's first husband. Callum. Yes. Um, Jake's niece. Tinny. Yes. <laughs> I almost said you. <laughs> um, he is a lawyer. Walter. Yes. Dez's girlfriend. Chandra. Yes. He's a Slovene. He's a politician. Uh, he dated oh, uh, Leslie. Bill Clark. Yes. Um, tattoos. Drug uh, dealer. Uh, uh, Taylor Gosser. Yes. Jake's first wife. She's a doctor. Nikki. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long. Uh, he wears a hat. He's a career criminal. He wore a bathrobe. Oh, uh, uh, he, Gordon Pinsent. Um, he. Oh my God. Um, no. This can't be what gets uh, me. He. You just can't think of the name. Yeah, um, I just can't think of the name. Um, also, the name of a famous uh, tennis player. Uh, his last name is the same as Pass. A, okay. I'll come back to it. Um, he's a writer. He writes books Garrison about Jake. Steel. Yes. He has a beard. He met Jake in jail. Wolf. Yes. Uh, look out, Jimmy. Yes. Uh, she stole TVs. She uh, held a knife to Rose's Shannon throat. Shannon Tweed. I don't know what the character's name. Okay. I'll never get it. Um, she was the district attorney. She dated Jake. Uh, uh, she. Allison. Yes. Uh, Rose's first husband always causes trouble. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Martin. Yes. Tinny's father. He is Crocker. a criminal. Yes. He drove a cab. He now tends Ned. bar. Yes. He was wrongly convicted. He, uh, they thought he killed his wife. Pop. He is a crazy person. He. Oh, um. He has lots of money. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, my Mal isn't went I'm to court lagged. and he, um, what, those oh, were my three clues. Pass. Okay. Um, I believe Mark's Tinny loves me. him. Does. Yes. Want to go back? Yep. Um, okay. Okay. Think of a famous tennis player, same last name. Uh, maybe too young for you. Okay. Um, he wears a hat. Yeah, okay. okay. I, I think I, I know who it is, but I, I okay, I just um, need to, to think of the name. Um, and his name is, oh my God, the pressure. I can't handle it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. La oh, okay. Wrongly convicted. Uh, his oh my mother, God. I'm the his, worst. his mother uh, killed his wife. 
Right, I know. He was back in this season. Like he was back in the season. Ago. That's right. Sean Doyle. Yes. Sean Doyle plays. You are correct. Sean Doyle plays. Mm. Karl Marr. Yes. All right. He's got a hat. <laughs> no way in hell no way. I would have ever. No. I had no idea. Okay. Maurice Becker. Well, a bit of a derailment there and a smidge of profanity. I warned you things could get ugly, but Miss Bernard still as beautiful as ever. Now it's Mr. O'Brien's turn. Comfortable with Martha standing off camera, Mark's round and our clock begins with my first clue. She was a police officer. She always gave Jake a hard time. Leslie Bennett. She's not, not in the show anymore. How many guesses do I get? As many as you want that it takes, and you can pass if you want. Um, she not in the show anymore. Not in the show anymore. She. Uh, it seemed like she liked Jake at the beginning, but then at the end, she just gave him a hard time. Oh, um, she was Monica. Yes. Yeah. Move along quickly. Good. Yeah, I won. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I won. <laughs> He's bald. He's Hood. complete. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Steve O'Connell. Okay. <laughs> Leslie's first husband. He oh, um, was Ryan Robbins Callum. Yes. Uh, he has a beard. He's a criminal. We thought he was a criminal. That's everyone who's been he on the show. He turned out to be a good guy. That's everyone who's been on the show. He, he works with uh, Jimmy. He Oh, Wolf. What, yes. Redmond. Yes. Two points. Ooh. I believe you love her. Tinny. Yes. Uh, he is a lawyer. Walter McClane. Yes. Two points. Uh, look out! Uh, Jimmy! Yes! <laughs> uh, she was the district attorney. She oh, um, was Jake's Michelle girlfriend. Nolden. Um, Allison. She, yes. Uh, you dated this girl. Oh, Chandra. Yes. Uh, he is a Slovene. He is a Ned? political character. Oh, uh, he is uh, dead. Matt Park. Yes. Rose's first husband. Uh, Martin Poole. Yes. Tattoos, drug um, dealer. Oh, uh, Taylor Gossard. Yes. Tinny's father. Oh, he um, is a uh, criminal. Kevin Crocker. Yes. Uh, Jake's first wife. Nikki Reynolds. Yes. Wow. He is a writer. Garrison Steele. Yes. Oh. He was a cab driver. Ned Bishop. Yes. I'm so excited right now. I believe Tinny loves him. Des Courtney. Yes. <laughs> He was wrongly accused. Everyone who's been on the show. Uh, <laughs> he is very rich. He is, uh, we thought he killed his wife. Oh, uh, Karl Marr. Yes. Uh, he wears a hat, a career criminal. We first saw him Morris. in a bathrobe. Oh. We, no, we, we didn't, we saw him in a bathrobe. We, uh, he was in jail with Jake. Maurice. Back yes. Oh. Did you say that yeah, name? Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, honey. That's you didn't okay. hear that. She stole TVs. She held a knife. Francis Lamont. Yes! Oh! Oh! Martha Bernard! <laughs> I did not think you would know her name. Every single, even the last name. The last name. Well, there you have it. Mark O'Brien, champion. For now. And if we're lucky, maybe we can plan another round of something fun when they start in on Doyle the Movie. We sure have been fortunate over the years. CNBC and TV and CNBC.com have truly been welcomed into the Doyle family. And what a pleasure it's been to be a part of the adventure. We're not alone in those sentiments. Everywhere we go, from guest stars to crew members, we hear stories of the good times spent in the Republic. Here's just a sampling, beginning with NL director Deanne Foley. It was a gift. Yeah. You know, it really was. I was just so delighted to be invited into the Doyle family and to direct an episode. And, you know, I'd worked second unit over the last few years and working, you know, on second unit you do like, you know, scenes from different episodes or you do like a lot of inserts <laughs> or, you know, you're doing like bits and pieces. Okay. But to be brought on as a main, main unit, you're directing For the full... Two episodes. For two episodes. I mean, it the is first. Short in season, too. Those are rare and dear in their final season. And, you know, I had to say, like, Alan Hocko and, 
and John Batcher and Rob Blackie and P Perry Chafe, they've all been just so supportive of trying to help me in my career and move along as a director. And, you know, you just need those opportunities. I mean, you don't get become good at your craft unless you actually get to do it. You get to practice. Yeah. And so I really felt ready to direct an episode. So one was a gift, two was a dream. It's such a fun show to do. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> And you know, it is really crazy. It's a lot of work, it's, it's very ambitious, uh, but uh, the whole family of actors is terrific. Uh, the whole production is great. And I love to be in the Maritimes. Yeah. I think the, the, the whole jagged edge of the uh, end of the country here is so rich with stories and people that are so uh, generous with their time and with their soul and, their, and who they are. It's, I'm always very, uh, I, I never want to leave. I worked on it on the first season and that was, you know, we were all just like rolling up our sleeves. Half of us had just, you know, had just joined the union. Like we were, uh, we were newbies, a lot of us. And now, I mean, they're superstars. So you were there at the beginning. What would, it, overall, like the, vi it must have just been electric, hey, to be a part of that. It was really exciting. Yeah, I, I always think of it as like the first year of summer camp. Like nothing will ever be as magical as that because it really was an, an, a very ambitious and uh, incredible thing to be a part of, you know? And yeah, I mean, the, the amount of experience that we all gained in that first season is incredible. Republic of Doyle, they love oh, you yeah. there. I love them. Yeah. I love them. I love that that show is so fun and such a great show and all my buddies work on it. It's terrific. We have a huge Republic of Doyle following on our site. I loved it. I loved being on, I've, I'd always wanted to shoot in Newfoundland. Yeah. Uh, I've been there a number of times and then Alan Harco yes. invited me out and it's like, yes, of course I want to do that. Right. You know, I feel like I've been blessed to work with really great people, like Republic of Doyle too. You know, like it was, it's just a really great group of people. Like I still sort of feel like I'm part of that cast, even though I'm, you know, it's three years later. Or we think of you, and we hope you'll be back. Well, who knows? But you know, it's like it's just one of those. I think um, when you have a great un, or a fun ensemble cast, you kind of become these kindred spirits. You look really handsome in that fedora. True, really, my heavens. Well, then I should have taken it off the the uh, costume people. That's one of the first things you do when you sign a contract. Include the costumes. If you like them, you take them. Is that them true? On. Yeah. Mark, uh, Mark I have more suits with tags on them from shows. You don't. I do. It's not bad. You look great tonight, though. Thank you. It's a this pleasure one is to from meet you. Doyle. This is a Doyle suit. Do they know I you have it? Of that. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Well, Mr. Pinson scored the suit. Now you can score all five seasons of Republic of Doyle on DVD. We've given you all our letter clues. You just need to unscramble them to get our TV Free Stuff password. Once you've got it, hit the website at cnbc.com, click on the TV Free Stuff button, and submit your answer. Good luck to you, and we'll be right back to wrap up our special. Our Republic of Doyle Season 6 celebration is winding down, but it wouldn't be complete without one more visit to the Doyle House. If you're in St. John's, you'll find the exterior on Gower Street, but it's the living room set where we met up with Miss Pellerin for one more walk down memory lane. Remember the one where it was the jewelry with Maurice Becker? Yeah. And you had already started dating that other guy. Which and other guy? There's been a couple. I know, right? You were on the step. Jake said, do you think they'll ever get back together? And you said, I don't know. It's a job to say. It's a job to say. I love that. What about those two? They're gonna make it, you think? I don't know. Could be years before they're together. It's a job to say. I don't think I like the sounds of that. sofa, right? I know. I mean, this is where, this is where we made out for the first time. <laughs> Why are you such an arse, Jake Doyle? <sighs> That's the question of the day, isn't it, Constable? <laughs> Leslie's strong. It's nostalgic. Yeah. Who's getting the sofa? 
I don't know if they're going to have some kind of... I don't know what they will do, where it'll go, if they're going to use it for because other Because I have things. a big truck. So, with me today. You're going to have a moving truck? Is that wrong? You're going to take it? I'm taking some stuff. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Well, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Now you can watch this show and all the other great Community One programming anytime you want. Simply click the On Demand button on your Bell Alliant Fiber Op TV remote and follow the steps on your screen. And be sure to visit CNBCN.com. There you'll find extended versions of all our on-set interviews from this show and so much more on the Republic of Doyle. What do you miss the most now that you're wrapped? Um, I miss everybody. And I miss... Uh, I miss playing Jake and writing and all that kind of stuff, but I just miss going to work every day and seeing everybody. Yeah. And that will be, um, that family, that will be the hardest, the hardest thing come May. Right, when you're ready to start up again. Yeah. I mean, we always start, I'm, I never really stop, as you know, uh, but when everybody shows up for work and we do that first scene on the floor, um, it's emotional. He's tearing up. You can't see that. You're welling a little. No, I'm stopping myself. <laughs> I'm just so happy to talk to you when I just, I mean, yes, I just got off a plane, but it hasn't been like, I'm so happy to talk to you when I'm alive and alert. Aww. So it's nice to see you. Well, good to see you too. And thank you so much for all the support over the years and for doing all these interviews with us and, and tweeting. I'm serious. I've only got 20 on me. Yeah, That's well, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, thanks, Alan. Right from the get-go, uh, you've been there supporting us and I'll never forget it. I'll do anything you ask ever.